right, hey, what's up, Smashers? My Smash Ninjas. Wednesday, we're gonna be doing some awesome stuff. Hey, just to let you know, that there's Brian. Full of badassery, that's a word. And uh, he's gonna hang on to that deadlift for the entire video. So I'm gonna shoot back over there in like, I don't know, like 15, 20 minutes, we're gonna make him hold 225. And uh, he's laughing right now because he's been doing this for the last 25 minutes. But not holding it, lifting it, which is even worse. But we're gonna be talking about some shoulder stuff today, big surprise. But we're gonna talk about internal rotation of the shoulder, long head of the bicep, short head of the bicep, pushing the head of the uh, humerus into the back of the joint capsule and unloading that big piece of shoe leather sitting right in the front of the joint capsule that's all irritated and, and just gnarly, and super funky. Because what happens is, um, a lot of times, yeah, you hear that, he dropped it. And he held it forever, just letting you know. Hey, I got a good shine going on the head today, this is good. So listen, what happens is the anterior portion of the, uh, of the joint capsule, remember we know that the fibers get tight as we wind up and they get loose as we unwind. But the problem is this portion of the joint capsule gets tacked down and stuck to all the fascia around here. It also tacks down this, the, uh, the long head of that bicep, makes this funky 90 degree turn in here. And, uh, and then that short head goes up to that coracoid, we know that. But all that stuff gets all glued down. So if you think when you come up under a movement that you don't need to have some, oh, where am I going? internal rotation, external rotation and internal rotation. You need to be able to do both of those to come up. If you're doing some uh, Bulgarian method, you're gonna actually externally or internally rotate to do your lift. If you're doing like most of us, we wind up and internally ro or externally rotate. So I know it's a lot of rotation, a lot of words, but when we get into this position, we need to be able to move that shoulder around without having that tissue all tacked in there. You're gonna get a pinch in your shoulder. You're gonna sleep on it on your side. It's gonna wake you up in the middle of the night. It's gonna suck. So you wanna get all that stuff working. Push-ups are gonna feel lousy. Your bench presses are gonna feel terrible. You're gonna wing out all the time. Your muscle-ups, you're gonna have a really slow shoulder and you're gonna have that one side, that chicken wings all the time. You gotta get rid of all that stuff. So here's how you do it. We're gonna make it super strong. We're gonna hit the serratus anterior, strengthen it up so that scapula can protract the way it's supposed to and stay tacked down against the rib cage. We're gonna unglue the entire anterior portion of the shoulder just like this, without even smashing it. How cool is that? And then we're gonna reset that, um, that head of the humerus into the posterior portion of the joint capsule to, uh, to make it super stable, huh? How's that sound? Pretty funky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a band. So this is, if you guys do yoga, you know what this is? It's a, uh, it's a, it's a pose called the archer. Now the archer, if you can't reach up and do this and touch your hands together, which most people can't, Grab a band, it's actually easier because what I want you to do is not worry about the hand up above right now. We've got all kinds of mobility for that. I want you to worry about the one that's coming up behind your back. But we wanna make sure that's glued up against the back. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. This is a whole new kind of fugly. So you're gonna take the band, wrap it up in here. You're gonna take this, whip it up over yourself like that. Yeah, that's pretty talented, huh? You like that? And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna cinch up the band. So I'm just grabbing the band as tight as I can and I'm pulling my hand while I loop it over my ear. I'm pulling up my hand just like this. As you can see, my hand is flat up against my rib cage. So, band is wrapped around the wrist. I have the band just like this. It's hanging out and I'm just gonna sit here nice and tall. You're just gonna hang out for how long? Two minutes, baby. Now this is a pretty grisly stretch. What you don't wanna do is lean forward. I want that nice tall chest. Hang out when you're done. Just loosen up the band. Oh, it's just abysmal. You know why? Because this is my bum shoulder. Now you can see how I wrapped it around the wrist. It's all you gotta do. Hold it for two minutes, do it twice. Do both sides, even if you have a bum wing. That's number one. Number two is we gotta strengthen the shizzle. So check this out. We've got a PVC and a band. Yeah, that's pretty funny, huh? And all you're gonna do is, you see I got the PVC pipe. See if I can make this work. I probably should have dragged Brian into this video, made him do it. So you're gonna grab onto the PVC. So I've got the PVC with a heavy band. This is a, a one inch band. So you're gonna grab onto it about shoulder width apart and you're gonna lock out your elbows and all you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the band all the way to your hips. You're just, or you're gonna bring the PVC pipe all the way to your hips. I want those elbows locked out and all you're gonna do is come all the way down and all the way back. All the way down and all the way back. And how long do we do this? Two minutes, yeah, I know you guys all said it. You guys are going two minutes, holy crap. Yeah, I want you to do this for two minutes. So, remember what I said, you're gonna grab this, lock out the elbows, all the way down, all the way up. Now, here's the cool part. Oh yeah, this is ad-lib stuff. We're gonna mix this up so cool. We're gonna show you how to lock out those elbows. 
Yes, I'm still here, even though I'm not in the frame. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a band. You're gonna throw this around your elbows. This is where it gets pretty badass because what you need to do is you're gonna take this. This is gonna force you to lock out the elbows. So now we can't cheat. You can't bend the elbows. If you guys are having a hard time getting overhead because of a strength and a mobility issue, this will hit both all in the same fell swoop. So we lock out the arms like this with the band. You're gonna grab on to the BBC. So band locks our elbows out. We're gonna go as wide as we can. When we go really wide, what happens is you can't undo the elbows, right? So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your arm, you're gonna do the same thing. Bring it all the way down to the hips. I know right now I look like I'm an advertisement for exercise bands, but trust me, this is how you wanna do it. All the way like this, and you're gonna feel this. This will make those pulls a lot easier on a muscle up, on a pull up. And we're gonna do this for how long? Yeah, that's right, two minutes. All right, so that's number three. And number four, we wanna reset the head of the humerus into the back of the capsule. Remember, it's the most stable in the back of the capsule. So what we do is we grab a dumbbell, or a kettlebell rather, sorry. It's not even eat lunch, I'm hungry. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, and we're just gonna arm bar this sucker. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. We're just gonna come all the way up, wind it up, take this hand, lock out that elbow, and then you're gonna let this drag all the way into the back. You're gonna let this sit all the way into the back of the capsule, get that uh, scapula out of the way, and then hang out here for as long as humanly possible. This one isn't two minutes, this one's actually three. And by the way, looking away makes this kettlebell really, really unstable. So don't do that unless you have some good proprioceptive awareness. And then you're just gonna hang out here for three minutes. All right, that's it. How easy is that? You're gonna wind up having this like, check this out. I was doing that for what, maybe about 20 seconds? And I can, I don't know if you can see that. This one's a lot shorter, so I have a stubby right arm, number one, or number two is it shoved that into the back of the capsule which is answer number two. I feel like we're playing Jeopardy, right? We need Alex Trebek. I don't think he'd have as much fun as me. I'd do better with a microphone. Hey, listen, that's how you stabilize and mobilize the shoulder, get it super strong, get that overhead position. Hell, get your sleeping position even better. It's all good. Push-ups, bench press, muscle-ups, everything you do, thrusters. Hey, I'm Trev, Smashworks. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome day.